Hey everyone, Tax Max here, back for another uh, challenge here. We're gonna use the CZ 527 in 22 Hornet to try to hit a quarter and then a nickel at 100 yards. Right down there, once again, measured by my trusty Nikon laser rangefinder. It's kind of old at this point, may need to be replaced at some point. But, um, this is a, a wonderful rifle. Uh, it has what's called a, a, a set trigger. I'm not sure if I will use that. And let me actually put this camera down for a second so I can show you what I'm talking about. So, 527. It is a bolt action rifle. I've got a nice Leopold Very X3 on it, so if we're going old school. You see, I have very little clearance between the scope and the bolt, but there is clearance there. On the bolt handle, I should say. But uh, I love these, these rifles because they have an old Mauser style bolt, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, they make it in 22 Hornet 223. I want to say they also make in 76239. But the set trigger, this it's got a very light trigger. And unlike, I mean, unfortunately, like other CZs, CZs, it has a little crip, a crip, a little creep, excuse me, in the trigger. Uh, but once you learn to predict the creep, it's real, real nice. And the set trigger is when you push the trigger forward. And at that point, it takes almost no pressure to set that trigger off. So this can be a very, very accurate rifle. Uh, this is the, I guess what CZ tends to call the American style or sporterized style. It's uh, it's a tapered barrel. It's not a heavy barrel. They make the 527 in heavy, heavy barrel. Although I don't know if they make it the 22 Hornet in heavy barrel. When I first looked for this rifle, I wanted a heavy barrel version. Could not find it. Bought this one. And let me tell you, it is a great rifle. I am not, I do not regret buying this one uh, it's it's lighter to carry uh, to carry around um, i'll be shooting hornady varmint express uh, out of this it's one of the uh, uh, rounds that this rifle likes uh, when i bought it the last ammo apocalypse had not happened yet so i was actually able to buy, buy to to buy about five different types of hornady uh not excuse me not hornady uh 22 hornet ammo and uh, see which one this one preferred. And before you start telling me I'm a Hornady uh, shill because I do sh shoot Hornady out of a few of the rifles that I've I've put on my YouTube channel, uh, it also likes Remington. And trust me, absolutely nobody is paying me a dime to make these videos. Uh, I do it because I enjoy shooting and I enjoy sharing the sport with uh, other people. And because, you know, when you're as old as, as I am and you haven't filled that void in your soul with family, career, and all the other things that matter, there's always YouTube. So hooray, let's shoot this thing and see how many rounds it takes to hit those damn coins. So here are the targets. I have them taped over some yellow targets to help me see a little bit. We got the quarter on the right this time and the nickel on the left. So let's see how many shots it takes to hit these guys at a hundred yards. Okay, we got our target set up. I've got this loaded with five rounds. Let's see if we can get it done in less than that. So we're gonna shoot the quarter first. It's on the right. And I think that hit it. In fact, I am so confident. Let's go ahead and take a shot at the nickel. Got four shots left. I think I can get it within the four shots. As I say that, the wind starts picking up. Ooh, low into the left. And I think that got it. 
Let's go take a look at our target. Now we're approaching our target here. And hooray, we did hit both shots. First shot on the quarter. Drilled a hole right there. First shot on the nickel was a little low and to the left. Second one hit it. And unlike the 22s that uh, dumped a lot of the energy into the coin and had them either drive through this pallet or bounce off, 22 Hornet just punched them like butter. They didn't even move. Thank you again for joining me for another video. I'll try to come up with some other challenge shoots. Uh, 22 Hornet, wonderful rifle, uh, fun round. Certainly one I recommend to people who uh, want to do some shooting between 75 and 150 yards uh, with, uh, with very accurate results. Anyway, you all take care and see you in the next video.